Hello, YouTubers out there. This is the Boop Wasteland Show with your host, Jerry Sadavia. So today, I'm briefly going to talk about Jane McCarthy's comments today on Good Day New York regarding her departure from The View, and also the 18th season of The View, how this new season is shaping up, which apparently had its best ratings since 2006. Uh, 3.9 million viewers have been tuning in to The View, the daytime talk show host, of course. For those of you who don't know, that's on at 11 a.m. Uh, East Coast on ABC. So anyway, uh, Jen McCarthy today made a comment uh, about her departure from The View. And it seemed as if it was a little bit different, her comment. I mean, it's nothing controversial, but um, it's a little different from what she, her reasons for leaving the show in the first place. Now, she said way back when, only uh, two, three months ago, that she left The View on for two reasons. One being that if Sherry Shepard leaves, she was leaving. And also she felt she couldn't really give her voice. She didn't have the freedom to really say what she really thought. Which is ironic considering that that's what the view is about, isn't it? I mean, I don't even understand that comment because frankly, well, look, considering Rosie O'Donnell's in season 18, let's be frank. Rosie O'Donnell always said what she thought. Whoopi always says what she thinks. Elizabeth Hasselbeck definitely always said what she had to say, and Joy Behar, and they made controversial comments. So I don't get what what she's trying to get at there. That was she told really to hold back her uh, her freedom of speech in a sense, her own view. That's odd. Anyway, those were the reasons. Uh, but on Good Day New York today, in an interview uh, with Good Day New York, uh, Jenny McCarthy said, and, and I quote. She was no longer on the show because they wanted to make sure the table was diverse. So they consider when Rosie was coming back, it was too liberal, and they wanted a conservative, and they wanted a Latina. So they got Rosie Perez, and their Elizabeth, if you will, which is Nicole Wallace. So that way, it was a balanced table with more diversity. All right, interesting comments. I've talked about the view on many occasions in this show uh, throughout the years. So uh, I watched season 18 premiere. Uh, yesterday, Monday, and I'm watching this, and something was missing. And at first, I uh, I wasn't apprehensive about Rosie returning. I thought when Rosie O'Donnell was on the show back in 2006, 2007, she really, I don't know what it was. I I felt that it was uh, she literally brought the the house down. I mean, in other words. She was very abrasive. She said what she thought, and even if she was wrong, she would come back and correct herself, usually. Uh, but she also showed, I think, in a sense, what we often deem as the country being divided over politics, which is not really 100% true. Uh, I don't think it's even 75% true, but that's another topic for someone else to tack tackle. But she just showed that she spoke about the way most people would speak, if they felt that they were against George W. Bush. That was her main thing, as, as it was with a, a lot of comedians, and she is a comedian. Uh, but she was abrasive, and when she was on, you kind of felt nervous. You didn't know what she was going to do. And I thought that was really what made that show work at its best. I still do, with Rosie. So I'm watching season 18 premiere. I knew, of course, Rosie was returning. Still got Whoopi Goldberg as a moderator. Nicole Wallace, the Republican who... Uh, far outclasses Elizabeth Hasselbeck, by the way, uh, and she uh, used to work for George W. Bush and for the Sarah Palin, uh, John McCain administration, or administration, I should say, the campaign. Uh, anyway, so I'm watching this show, and Rosie just felt very restrained. It almost felt like there were restraints on her wrists, like she wasn't that abrasive, she wasn't that wild. Now, granted, she got a lot of controversy eight years ago now because of her uh, fights with Elizabeth Hasselbeck on the air. This is a live show, so anything could happen. Now, this may change over the course of time. Rumors circled around the uh, at least a couple weeks prior to the view coming back that Rosie and Whoopi were going at each other. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that's really been confirmed. But it felt there was something missing with Rosie. 
I just felt this is not the Rosie I remember. She just felt very restrained. Now, maybe that's good for the show. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that you should be shouting at people or whatever. She won't be doing that with Whoopi. So, uh, and you know Whoopi, you know, tries to maintain some civility, but when she's angry about something, she makes it clear, but she does it with a little more class, let's say sophistication, perhaps. Nicole Wallace, I like a lot. I've seen her guest on Bill Maher's show and on several other shows, and she she knows what she's saying. Uh, I think she's sensible, you know, which is what the show needed anyway. Somebody's sensible. And she seems to more or less stick to the facts, which is good, because I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat to be. At the end of the day, who cares? I don't care. Uh, it's not important to me. But I'm always interested in what the Republicans have to say, and particularly in this day and age. So she's a good fit for the show. Rosie Perez is a good fit also. Got to get used to her. I like her. Um, We'll see how this goes, you know, because this is still in its infancy, this season 18 premiere. So perhaps everybody has to gather their bearings and see what happens. And it is a live show, so it's not edited. But something was missing, missing was uh, missing. Something was missing with uh, Rosie per, uh, Perez, but Rosie O'Donnell. One aspect of the show that I thought was interesting was in the premiere, they did a little skit, row or row. Rosie Perez or Rosie O'Donnell. In other words, this they bring up a certain situation from the past and was it Rosie Perez or Rosie O'Donnell? That was kind of fun. They had a nice little uh, uh, in memoriam for uh, Joan Rivers. But at the end of the day, something was still missing from the show. I don't. I, I think I missed the pizzazz. It just felt as if it was diluted a little. The view uh, and today's show just they didn't quite strike the notes for me. I don't I don't know what it is. It just feels as if everyone is trying to be very well behaved. And the point of the show, I always thought, was not necessarily you have to act like a wild animal, but that you really express your opinion and you give it out as best as you can. And, uh, and if no one agrees with you, that's fine. Because that's the point. That's what the show is about. So... It felt like there were restraints on everybody, and I, I could really feel it. I mean, when, when a show is edited, you can tell what the best parts they sometimes might leave out of a talk show or whatever it is. You, you, you often sense there's something else there that, that's missing, um, no matter what it is. But in this case, it just felt like it was diluted. But we'll see. We're going to keep watching, because I do like Rosie O'Donnell. That may be a controversial position, I don't know, maybe more so eight years ago than now. I don't know, I don't care. This is just my view on The View. So we'll leave it at that. And uh, this is the Boob Wasteland Show with your host, Jerry Sadovia, signing off.